So there's other beams that have um, slag on the ends and these sculptures that are around the world. This one in Manitoba, Canada, and he does x-ray fluorescence, Stephen Jones, and finds that uh, this has uh, iron, sulfur, potassium, manganese, uh, these ingredients. Well, guess what those are? Those are the ingredients of thermite, particularly with the uh, uh, manganese, the uh, this, the aluminum and iron content here in addition to other stuff. Well, they say, you know, Mick West or somebody is going to say, uh, this this is this comes from cutting at the site. Well, th this the iron workers use very effective oxyacetylene torches. They get very clean cuts like you see here, but this is a very jagged cut. You know, it's not mm -hmm. made by the oxy oxyacetylene torches they're using out there. Uh, this is not the fastest way from point A to point B. Is this a jigged jagged? No, with the molten slag coming off and aluminum residue, incomplete chemical reaction of thermite is what you're seeing on these beams. And what, what are you seeing on this column, uh, which is still during operations, uh, rescue operations, well before uh, the, the iron workers uh, start cutting the stuff down. 45 degree cuts with thick slag coming off of these beams. Now, that's not the oxyacetylene uh, signature. Something else is going on here and here, as you can see, all across uh, these columns during rescue operations. 